I'd say that most pilots agree, there isn't much that beats the sound of a jet engine spooling to life. Here we are, we're at it again, it's your flight fix. Welcome to the Cirrus Approach Flight Fix, the bite-sized flight training show dedicated to pilots who never stop learning. You know, the start sequence for the Vision Jet's Williams International FJ33 turbofan is just so streamlined and cool that we had to give it its own episode. If you've never started a turbine engine before, don't worry about it. It's really no more challenging than starting a piston engine. In some ways, it's actually a little bit easier. The key is to use a good scan throughout the start sequence so that you'll be able to monitor for any abnormalities that could occur as the whole thing spins to life. But enough talk, let's head down to the digital, pretend, hangar, and break down the Vision Jet engine start sequence. Setting yourself up for a successful turbine engine start really begins all the way back to how you position your vision jet. Jet engines rely on a constant, uninterrupted flow of air through the engine while in flight, and that goes for the start too. The maximum tailwind for engine start in the vision jet is actually 15 knots. It's nice to keep the engine cool, and starting with as much headwind as practical helps to keep the temps down and to more efficiently bring your engine up to idle speed. The start sequence really begins when you twist the engine knob, it would be this hand, twist the engine knob, to the run position, which will activate the fuel pump. You'll hear it and you'll see it activate. Then the rest of the sequence doesn't take long, so you gotta be ready, you gotta be on your game. Your scan will move from left to right across the MFD, then left to right again. So with a simple press of that engine button, which is right next to the knob, here we go. The first thing you'll see is the starter engaged cast message illuminate on the PFD. Once you see that engage, Move your eyes to the EIS indications on the MFD to immediately verify N2 rotation. That's the core of your engine firing up. From there, slide your eyes right to identify light off, and that's denoted by a distinct and pretty rapid rise in ITT, or inner turbine temperature, the temperature deep inside the engine. Now, back over to N1, so you can verify immediately that it's rotating by a maximum of 25% of your N2 value. Moving right again, make sure your ITT indication and really that all of the engine instruments are stabilizing in a normal range. Finally, be sure to verify that you're getting positive oil pressure. The starter engaged and fuel pump on cast messages will extinguish and that's it. The start's complete. Okay, what's the point of all this monitoring? Well, first off, it's not as big a deal as it seems. Second, third, fourth start, it will start to become second nature and you'll know what to look for very quickly. At the end of the day, what you're looking for is any abnormal indication that could suggest the very rare occurrence that you're experiencing one of the abnormal start conditions. Now, there's only a few, but you'll want to be ready just in case you've got to abort. But the good news is in your vision jet, the abort procedure is always the same regardless of what abnormal start condition you may encounter. Turn the engine run knob to off, then hold the engine button for 15 to 30 seconds to what we call dry motor the hot air and fuel out of the engine. I know, in that whole sequence, there was a lot going on, and I can just see the emails rolling in saying, oh, we never gave a look at it in real time. So here it is. The full start, in all of its uninterrupted glory, sit back, relax, and let's watch this thing develop. Enjoy. Rotation, light off, N1, monitor ITT, oil pressure, Good start. So that's it. In the Vision Jet, starting the engine is kind of as simple as it seems. It's really just the twist of a knob and the push of the button. Sure, you've got to monitor things. You've got to pay attention to those details, just like any good pilot would. But 
If you point your nose into the wind and ensure you've got a nice strong battery to get that starter going, your turbine engine will spool up cool and quick. And so there you go. As always, make sure to follow us online. And if you have some awesome idea for content you'd like us to cover, I'm betting we'd love to cover it. For any comments, questions, biting critiques, or loving praise, send an email to learning at cirrusaircraft.com. Hey everyone, this is Elliot Flourish, Knoxville, Tennessee with Matt Welch, one of my instructors here, VIP at the Vision Center. We just came out of the Vision Simulator, absolutely amazing experience, just blown away by how realistic everything is. Uh, the training's been excellent, I've been preparing, over-preparing. And as you know, learning is a lifestyle, and we'll see you at the next fix. And he's doing great. Thank you! <laughs>